but yeah, Lizzie is watching. Um, over. Chucky, Chucky, Lizzie. Let's to zoom in. You see the kennel, so the complex has several military docks um, on different locations. Sometimes so, some kennels are um, occupied and some aren't. And here is so since I remember at this um, corner of the military barracks are these uh, armored vehicles, tanks, you know, the infantry fighting vehicles, um, armored, this is what armored, uh, let's try to find them finger, armored anti-tank, you know, vehicle and so forth. But these are, you know, um, so Soviet made vehicles which hasn't been you know they haven't been in service for a long time so here institute in the back and here we are so that so there is another kennel and there is a dock so currently they have a dog there, it's a German Shepherd and one is over there somewhere. So yeah, let's say this complex is known as Ryashin um, and Tweet. Um, Lizzie Pitt, she's watching the dock. Lizzie, pretty. Um, so Shen Tweet military barracks. So, Slovenian armed forces do not utilize the military base, um, let's say, concept as, for example, United States military. So, because Slovenia is so small and we have, you know, professional mi military, um, military personnel, personnel and their families do not actually live. Oh, it's not German Shepherd, it's the uh, Belgian Malinois. Malinois. Malen, Malenois, Belgian Shepherd. Oh, Lisa found a ball. Interesting. Um, so they do not actually live on the bases in the barracks, but you know, they live at home. But you know, when uh, in the Yugoslavia in, and early years of independent Slovenia, especially when we still had uh, mandatory military service, Oh, the doggo is angry. The Belgian Shepherd. Um, you know, personnel actually lived also at the base. Um, for example, in let's say in Yugoslavia, they didn't only build um, you know these additional facilities, but they have also built several, um, which are over there at the edge, several. Um, blocks you know apartment buildings which are now known as you know oh there is the dog which are now known we well were known and are still known as you know blocks because they were given to the permanent uh, military personnel that was stationed at the base you know like officers and senior ncos non-commissioned officers um, some training facilities, you know, let's say, you know, moving regarding urban warfare, entry to the building, you know, like trench, which is being used apparently as a pit for, for fires, quite a lot of ash there. And, you know, yeah, last time there was a dog, a snout was poking out there. No, pretty Lizzie. Pretty, Greva. Oh, he's still inside. Pretty. Oh, he's angry. You can see the snout on the left. So, yeah, um, you know, and in Yugoslavia there was also, you know, mi uh, compulsory military service. So, you know, um, and they, because Yugoslavia was a pretty large country, you know, now let's say encompassing countries from Slovenia on the north and Northern Macedonia on the south. 
so you know you could when you're doing your service you could get transferred and this was basically a common practice you know from Slovenia you were sent to Macedonia from Macedonia you were sent to Slovenia and so forth you know all over the country and of course while we, you are doing your service there was no way that you would go you know every weekend you know back home so you know they stayed at the barracks and this had happened also for example during Slovenia early Slovenia early years of Slovenian armed forces when we had still compulsory military service so the draftees you know they would basically from Monday to Friday they would be in the barracks and then during the weekend they could leave and went back home um, of course unless they had you know like something scheduled for the weekend and yeah after Slovenian armed forces went completely you know professional there was no need for military barracks you know for basically um, living quarters to still be you know in use so a lot of them were basically just um, rededicated as you know office space okay i think that part of the facility is also utilized by the slovenian police because they always have some uh, vehicles parked there parked here and there is no plate on them so i don't know i think they are you know like um no longer in service but still here like strategic reserve and yeah this part of the facility so as you can see there is no actually plaque that i am not allowed to film and uh -huh, okay let's just take into into consideration the view so we are actually on the edge let's say northern edge of the upper level of the field and there is the lower level so that will take so that will the knowledge will come in handy a little bit later you know and they here you know police have here also stored you know the fencing for events and so forth and this actually part is known as central military warehouses um, storage facility I assume they don't have you know a lot of you know dangerous stuff store stored here you know due to prox 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 proximity of the you know Institute and other buildings you know plus you know this is um, water protected area you know another canal well another station for the canal and here yeah, that's basically it okay uh, do you see that intersection over there we will end the film here and we will continue when we will cross the intersection so that's it for now.